Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is pancreatic pseudocyst, you know. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel, you know. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com And uh, now I come to a topic, what is a pancreatic pseudocyst, you know. You know, the pancreatic pseudocyst is a collection of tissue and the fluids uh, that uh, forms uh, on an organ located behind the stomach uh, known as pancreas, you know. Uh, it's usually the result of hard blow to your abdomen or maybe a pancreatitis, you know, which is the inflammation of the uh, pancreas, you know. And uh, the pseudo means, uh, and simply it means false, you know. So, a pseudocyst looks like a cyst, but uh, uh, is made of, uh, from the different kinds of tissues that uh, uh, are not the true cyst, you know. So, a true cyst is more likely to be cancerous than a pseudocyst, you know, okay. And uh, the pancreatic pseudocyst is not usually dangerous unless it ruptures, you know, and mostly it's not cancerous, you know. And a ruptured uh, pancreatic pseudocyst is a life-threatening condition. Uh, you should see your doctor immediately if you have any of the symptoms that uh, the pseudocyst has ruptured, like uh, high or persistent uh, fever, you know, uh, severe pain in your upper stomach, uh, unexplained fainting, uh, vomiting a blood, or uh, maybe weak and rapid heartbeat, you know, and maybe drop in blood pressure, you know. So you should uh, pay even closer attention to these symptoms if uh, you or someone around you or any family member has had the pancreatitis, you know. Uh, the next thing is what are the causes of this uh, pancreatic pseudocyst, you know. Well. Uh, pancreatic pseudocysts most often follow a bout of like pancreatitis, you know, which is the infection of the pancreas, you know, or the inflammation, you know. And uh, pancreatitis is a serious and there's a painful condition and uh, pancreatic enzymes you know, which help to digest the fats and the sugars, they overreact and begin to digest the tissues of the uh, pancreas itself, you know, and uh, this can cause swelling, it can cause bleeding, damage to the tissues and the blood vessels in the pancreas, you know, so uh, the cysts typically uh, form when the ducts that carry the pancreatic juices to the intestines, they become blocked, you know, and uh, uh, it can be either acute or it can be chronic, you know, and the acute uh, starts suddenly and uh, it can go away with or without any treatment, you know. Uh, but in case of the chronic pancreatitis, uh, uh, resists, uh, it resists the treatment, you know. And uh, when the pancreatitis may be a complication of surgery or due to any certain autoimmune disorders like, or maybe the alcoholism, which is the most common in both uh, acute and the chronic pancreatitis, you know. And uh, maybe the excessive triglycerides in your bloodstream. So your pancreas helps your body to digest the fats, but having too much fat uh, to process can damage its uh, the pancreas. You know, so pancreatitis can also be uh, due to the gallstones, and these are the pebble-like uh, deposits that develop in the gallbladder. You know, which is a small organ located near the pancreas that uh, stores the bile pro uh, which is produced in the liver, you know. And the gallstones may be very small or uh, they can grow as large as a cough ball, you know. It varies, you know. And uh, in some cases they may block the ducts that uh, uh, drain the pancreas causing the pancreatitis to develop, you know. The next thing is what are the symptoms, you know. Well. Uh, you can have the pancreatic uh, pseudocyst with no symptoms at all. 
and uh, sometimes they even go away on their own without any treatment in case of specially acute pancreatitis yeah. and uh, the doctors accidentally discover many pancreatic pseudocysts when performing the CT scan or MRI scan to diagnose any uh, other medical condition you know and uh, you should also uh, watch for the symptoms like uh, nausea or uh, vomiting or pain in the area of the upper stomach sometimes uh, uh, radiating to the back you know or uh, a lump that you can feel in the area of your upper stomach you know or uh, uh, difficulty in eating and digesting the food you know so if you have these symptoms you should uh, uh, consult the doctor you know and these symptoms uh, can also indicate uh, many other medical conditions including pancreatitis or maybe uh, cancerous tumors or uh, so a ruptured cyst may be present uh, the symptoms like uh, uh, vomiting blood uh, fever fainting a severe abdominal pain and uh, a loss of consciousness you know and if you experience any of these symptoms, you should call the emergency services straight away and without wasting the time because this is a real emergency, you know. Well, the next thing is how do doctors diagnose uh, the pancreatic pseudocysts, you know. You know, if your doctor thinks that you have the pancreatic pseudocysts, uh, they will advise the imaging tests to get better look at the structures you know abdominal st uh, anatomical structures in the abdomen you know and uh, especially the pancreas and the gallbladder and the liver etc you know and uh, your doctor may also order the endoscopic ultrasound so which means that a tube will be inserted from the mouth to the uh, stomach uh, with a camera you know so it will get the images of the pancreas you know it's known as the endoscopic ultrasound you know and uh, your doctor may also order the uh, other imaging tests like maybe CT scan or MRI, you know, okay. And uh, so this way your doctor will be uh, able to diagnose the uh, pancreatic pseudocysts, you know, with the help of the blood tests, the imaging tests, etc., you know, endoscopic ultrasound, you know. Now once diagnosed, then uh, what are the treatment options? Well, if your doctor uh, diagnoses that you have the pseudocyst, but uh, you don't have any symptoms, you know, and uh, it's diagnosed accidentally, you know, well, that may suggest that you wait to see if the cyst goes away on its own. And the uh, regular imaging test can monitor the growth of the, of the shrinking of the cyst, you know. So when the pseudocyst uh, like uh, compresses your other organs, you know, if it gets too big, you know, so your doctor will need to drain it to reduce its size, you know. And uh, it also needs uh, draining it if it grows uh, so large that it, it can rupture, there's a chance that it can rupture, you know. So the drainage requires a surgery under the general anesthesia, you know, which means that you will be asleep, it will be pain-free procedure, okay. And uh, the surgery involves like making a very small incision to drain the pseudocyst with the needle guided by the ultrasound and uh, an endoscopic camera, you know. Okay, so it's ultrasound guided procedure, you know. And uh, uh, alternatively, your doctor might make a larger incision to like uh, view the pseudocyst directly, you know. So your doctor will drain or uh, uh, the suction out of the content of the pseudocyst, you know, will be performed. And uh, they will send that sample of the contents to the lab to see under the microscope if there is any sign of that uh, uh, this is cancerous, you know. And you will receive the antibiotics even if you don't have any infection to make sure that it does not develop, you know. <clears throat> okay, and uh, uh, well... The next thing is, is it possible to prevent the pancreatic pseudocyst? Well, pancreatitis is the most common cause of the pseudocyst, you know. And so preventing the pancreatitis uh, 
uh, is the best way to prevent the cysts from forming you know and if you drink alcohol regularly or uh, you are an alcoholic consider stopping it stop smoking uh, use alcohol in moderation you know so this way you can and uh, this way you can uh, decrease the chances of developing the pancreatitis you know and a diet which is low in carbohydrates and cholesterol and considering the fresh fruits fresh vegetables and lean proteins you know they can lower your triglycerides and they can help to prevent the development of the pancreatitis you know uh, well uh, the outlook is uh, uh, in fact for someone uh, who has the pseudocyst is usually good if uh, there's no chance of rupture you know and the surgery to drain a pseudocyst has a, a high recovery rate so generally with a good management you know well prognosis or outlook is good you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you and goodbye